guys, Grinz Gaming here, I'm back to brand new guys, and today, yes, this is the second part of my new uh, ranking uh, three part series, guys, I did the last one on the Guardians of the Galaxy a couple of days ago. So guys, what I want to do today is the uh, ranking the original Avengers, this is the team of six we see in the first Avengers film, so it's going to be um, the main four, being Hulk, uh, <coughs> Hulk Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, along with Black Widow and Hawkeye, so let's get right on to my rankings. The first part of the ranking, guys, is probably going to be very predictable, but at the bottom spot, guys, it's going to be Black Widow. The simple reason is she doesn't really have that many powers. She's trained in a lot of forms of like self-defense and martial arts, but she hasn't actually got any actual powers. She's very useful to the team throughout the Avengers and Captain America movies, but like I said, she has no actual powers herself, so I really can't put her that high if she hasn't got any individual stand-up powers. So she's good. With, she's actually really good at like, self-defense and hand-to-hand -hand combat. But compared to like Iron Man and Hulk, she hasn't really got any significant standout powers. And that's kind of the reason why she's at the bottom of this list. Next up guys, at number 5, it's Hawkeye. Again, Hawkeye, though he has a better, not really super power, but he's uh, more trained in archery than Black Widow, which doesn't come in as handy, I wouldn't think, but at least he has some kind of sort of super power, as in the he hardly ever misses with his arrows, and he's a really, really good archer, so... That's kind of the reason, and I like Hawkeye. Uh, personally, I think it's pretty cool. But once again, just like many of the characters so far, guys, I hate the fact the way he looks in the comics. This can be a very significant theme throughout these videos. I hate the way someone looks in the comics, especially Hawkeye, because he just, his blonde hair and his weird purple glasses, yeah. Just, uh, just no. But Hawkeye is pretty cool, especially with the fact that he has sometimes arrows, he has like, his exploding arrows, uh, normal arrows, and then in the comics he has like, web arrows, so that's pretty, pretty cool. And overall, he's a pretty cool dude, of course, so far. We know he's missing from Infinity War, which means he's probably he's retired by now. So, you know, he's one of the heroes that's lived the longest. Uh, he's been there since almost day one. Well, he's been there since the first Thor film, so he's been around some pretty long time for Hawkeye. So now I've got the two sort of basic characters the way, guys. We're going to go now with the main Avengers. So, at number four is the Hulk. Amazing reason for this, guys, is because of his portrayal in The Incredible Hulk. He was played by Edward Norton. You know, Mark Ruffalo was a lot better than Edward Norton. And, yeah, I mean, the Hulk, because this is the only reason he's lower than the list, is because he was played by Edward Norton in the first film. But other than that, he hasn't really had much of a standout character. He's kind of been the one at the main force and pushed into the background a bit. Although he did have a uh, fight, a radical fight with the Hulkbuster suit in Avengers Age of Ultron, which is one of the favorite moments. Other than that, he hasn't had some, a lot to do, and I can't wait to see him again in Infinity War, see if he does something more, not, not more useful, but just more exciting, because the best part of him so far has been, as Bruce Banner, not really as the Hulk, so if you get to see him, hopefully improved, I think they may have found the way to use the Hulk now, which I'm really happy about, but I just can't wait for Infinity War to see if he's actually improved, but for now, he is number four, because he isn't, he is not really a massive standout hero. And number three is Thor, the Asgardian on the list. So I like Thor, but the Thor movies themselves are not, they're not perfect. Thor the Dark World was okay, it's like my least favourites. And then Thor, the original Thor was pretty alright, you know, but you know. And then Thor Ragnarok's supposed to be really good, so there we go. <laughs> but I, I think Thor's sort of like one of them... One of the more interesting characters, because he hasn't really got a superpower, he's more of a god, so he's a different background to the guys, and he's not from Earth, so once again makes some interesting character arcs about how he learns to use stuff from Earth, and Earth, so like customs and everything, so it's pretty funny with him, and it's formed a pretty uh, funny partnership with Hulk, which is always good to see, like characters that bounce off each other, kind of like how um, Iron Man and Captain America do, so it's really nice to see those two getting along, and it makes for, uh, makes a more funny storyline, so, so Thor's in at number three. Number two, guys, this was really difficult to pick. I'm going to put Captain America, the first Avenger, on at number two. So Captain America, of, uh, he's a pretty, let's say, standout character. He's one of the main faces of the MCU, and for good reason, he's one of the most important characters. And it's like some of the best films, you know, Civil War was fantastic. When Soldier was pretty good, and first Avenger was alright. So yeah, he's been the face, well, not really the face of the MCU, he's been sort of like one of the main standout characters, which is really awesome to see. The transformation from, like, Age of Ultron to Civil War. And then from Civil War to Infinity War, he's obviously got rid of his classic Captain America shield and his haircut. So, it's like, it's now best to become Steve Rogers, no longer Captain America. I mean, it's pretty cool. The shield made out of, vib shield made out of vibranium. 
uh, which I like that. I like the fact that they continue to use vibranium. It's not like a one-time thing that no one ever hears about again. So I like that fact. And also, it's pretty cool. Nick yeah, Asimov kind of like the cool, kind of like the cool character in the whole Avengers, like apart from like Tony Stark, of course. At number one, the one I haven't mentioned yet, it's Mr. Tony Stark or Iron Man. Now, I've always liked Iron Man. Before I even started watching the whole MCU thing, I've always liked Iron Man. Uh, he's alright, I guess, in the comics, but once again, a running theme right now. Uh, the characters in the MCU are a lot better than the characters in the comics. But no, he's a decent character. I like um, Iron Man, well, he's obviously my favourite original Avengers. So, <clears throat> first of all, he's got loads of cool suits, right? I mean, come on. Like, guys like Captain America, Thor, Hulk, they only have, like, one suit, but uh, Tony Stark's got, like, loads of them. He has, like, at least 50 different suits. We don't see them all, but in the house party protocol, uh, part of um, Iron, Man's, Iron Man 3, yeah, where they all come down to help out Tony Stark defeat Aldrich Killian, that, that is pretty cool. No, but Iron Man and stuff, he's pretty funny, like I said, one of the funniest characters along up there with, like, uh, Drax. Drax is pretty funny. And Ned from Spider-Man Homecoming. So, this reason why Iron Man's, like, top because he's, he's iconic. He's a guy kicked off the whole MCU. And he's very funny. Like, no one can replace Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Like, you can't do it. Like, if you're going to kill him off, kill him off. But don't replace him. Like, you can't replace Robert, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Because he's just the best. So, yeah, guys. That was my ranking of all six original Avengers. I know the video's a bit shorter, guys. So I want to split them to three parts. Of course, we've, had, we've done the... Um, the first part, which is Guardians of the Galaxy, now we've done the original Avengers, guys, and now we're moving on to the new Avengers. Of course, there's a thing of like, so Falcon, War Machine, Vision, all those guys. That'll be done very soon, guys, because we're counting down the wait towards Infinity War, guys. We've got two videos, apart from the series to do with uh, Infinity War, which is ranking the all the films, and then do a review of Black Panther, which I need to do out very soon, guys. Of course, Infinity War comes out on April 27th, so not that long away now for the release of Infinity War, guys, and I can't wait to see it, I'm going to do a review on it as soon as the film comes out. But thank you so much for watching. If you guys do agree with my list, then leave a like down below. If you don't tell me why, tell me who's your favorite original Avenger. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.